Greetings, I am your Saint Germain. I come at this time to bring the message that I intended for the last time you were together, where this one was not strong enough, though, to allow for the message to come forward. But the message this day, my friends, is hold on. Hold on to your mission. Hold on to who you are. Hold on to everything that you know dear to your heart. Not to the old illusion, not to the old programming, but to the new programming. The new paradigm that you are forming within yourselves. And as you form this new paradigm within yourselves, you are forming it with the collective consciousness of the planet as well, both people, plants and animals, and the mineral substances here on the planet. All of it is coming together as one, as you create it. And you are the creator. Each and every one are the creator, not only of your own lives, but you are the creator of the collective lives of this planet as you are moving the timelines forward, moving the timeline into a higher vibrational timeline. That is what this is all about. These times now, as you focus on those things that are going awry across the planet, know that even as they seemingly are doing so, know that the vibrations are increasing because of what is happening across the planet. Because people are saying, enough. Because people are rising together and saying, no more. And certainly we will not go gently into the night. We will not give up without a fight. You are all fighting now, fighting as the light warriors that you are. Where you are saying no, I will not comply. And all of you must not comply with any of the old programming that is being shown, the fear programming. Do not let yourself become afraid of anything, whether it is the virus, whether it is some type of illness, whatever it is. You will move through it and whatever does not kill you, will make you stronger. And you know this, that is a saying that you know of. But fear, fear holds you to the old illusion. Do not let fear do that. Rise above the fear. Rise above the old vibrational programming. And know that you are creating now, right now in this moment, you are creating the new timeline. The timeline that is going to move you all through ascension. And you must continue to remember that. Do not become ensconced in the old vibrational programming in the old fear in all that hey, being the cabal, those forces of darkness that are continuing to try to hold on to control of the planet, know that they cannot do that, they are being defeated in every way now, in every direction, even though you do not fully see it, know that it is happening, many are being removed from the planet in various ways, so that they can no longer control or attempt to maintain control, and even they know they have lost the control, that they are cornered animals now, and they continue to fight continue to bring up out of the shadows the truth. Even though that is not what they intend to do, they cannot help but bring the truths forward. And the truth, as you know, shall set you free. And the truth, my brothers and sisters, is coming, and is even here now in many respects. So allow it to come forth. Allow the truth to be known. Allow the shadows to be revealed by the light, because the light shall illuminate all across the planet. I am your Saint Germain, and I leave you with this. Continue to fight. Do not give in to any of the control structure, to any of the old programming, because it cannot hold you down any longer, unless you let it hold you down. All of my peace and love be with all of you. And allow, and continue to allow, the violet flame to continue to work its magic across the planet and within your own individual lives. Who serves? Um, Mani, Padm, Hum. Um, Mani, Padm, Hum. Hum, Hum greetings to you. One who serves here. And James is back. That was wonderful that he was able to allow that message to come through quite so strong. He asked just before this process to begin here the state to be given energy and energy we have given him directly, so this can go exactly as it was meant to, leading up to the great advance our December advance. Retreat here in Paisen, as that you have coming up. We cannot tell you more about it at this time, but more will be coming to you about this. And it is a great movement forward, we will say, in consciousness that you will all take. Those of you that are present here personally, as well as those of you that contribute and are participating on the phone call, or what you call the Zoom conference. All will be able to participate in this, and have a grand effect across the planet on certainly the crystalline grid, but even more than that, as you are introduced more to another chakra within yourself that will help you to be connected with the Earth herself with Gaia even more than you have been up to this point. It will help to ground you, but also will help you to soar up into the heavens of your own being. Okay, we are ready for questions. Do we have Shoshana? Shoshana, Shoshana is here. Always, we do. Yes, very good. Everything is wonderful now once again, so. Do you have questions here for one who serves in Shoshana? Guest, yes, yes I do. Always, yes, guest, 
I had been smoking marijuana for years, and about two and a half months ago I quit. And so now my dreams are coming back, and I remember my dreams really clearly now. Last night, I was visited by three dark entities in my dream, which HAS and happened, that I remember, in a while. In the dream there was a disconnect between my dream self, me and my dream, and my outside self because when I was in the dream, I COULD and remember anything to do with the group that I involved with, with Ancient Awakenings, and Archangel Michael and his blue sword, and Saint Germain Violet Flame. So when I was in the dream, I was in this house. I grabbed a knife out of the knife drawer in the kitchen. It WAS and much of a knife, it was a long skinny serrated edge they use for slicing turkey. But anyway, the next scene was I was in this room with this girl who said something like help, or something like that, I can remember exactly. Then the door was pushed open, and there was this female woman with dark hair and I knew it was one of the dark entities and I could feel the force of her pushing the door open, and then I woke up, and it was because I woke up. It took me to wake up to realize that I was actually having a dream that some dark entities were entering, and it kind of shocked me a little bit. So I contemplated what was going on. Then I fell back to sleep again. They were gone, but I was in a garage where some woman and her husband were there. They were a little shocked at my presence and I said, Don't worry, I am here using Archangel Michael Blue Flame Sword, and I am part of the Company of Heaven and they all relaxed and everything was cool. There was a disconnect in the dream. I COULD and remember any of those things in the original dream. But now, I somehow was able to remember Lord Michael's sword and the violet flame in the second dream. And so there was a connect, instead of a disconnect. I was just wondering if you could comment on that. Oh, first of all, we would say that your dreams are not as you tend to believe that they are. They are actual experiences that you are having in the astral and etheric world that you are able to work side by side with those that are battling these dark entities. You see, these dark entities, as you are saying, are very much aware of you and they are attempting to take some control within your life if they are able to but you have much resistance, much of the help that you need around you when you are battling the other side, as you are doing within the dream. And the second part of that dream shows you this, that you have the connection with Archangel Michael and the flaming blue sword of truth, and you are able to connect, as you use that term, to connect with those parts of yourself and those ones that are there to help you and assist you in battling these dark entities. Which many of you, by the way, are doing within your dream state. Again, it is not the type of dream that you have thought it is. It is an experience. It is a part of your journey when you are not awake, when you are in the dream state, it is still part of your journey of being here in this lifetime at this point. Shoshana, do you have something to add? Shoshana, we wish to share here. May we share, dear brother? Guest, oh, absolutely. Thank you, Shoshana. Shoshana, dear brother, you have won. Guest, softly laughs I know. Shoshana, you have defeated the dark ones. They cannot take you, you see. Guest, I did not buy into the fear. Shoshana, you did not and you must understand that this is an example for all to follow, as this will not be the last attack on light workers all over the planet, you see. We see that you won, and we see that you came back stronger and that you came with the blue flame sword and the violet flame of Saint Germain, two of the most powerful tools any light workers can wield upon darkness and those that acknowledged you, and knew who you were, you see. You have won, dear brother, guest, oh, thank you, always. And we would say here also that this one that we speak through, and also the Joanna also won in their battles with those that attempted to, as you might say, take them out and that was purposeful on their parts to do so but they had a great deal of help here in those of you that are in the group, as well as all of us that are assisting in this ascension process here. You are not to be taken out very lightly here. It is not going to happen. So know that. Even though they are aware of you being those of the dark forces that are aware of you because you bring much light to the planet, they cannot do what they want to do in this particular situation because there is much protection here. Guest, I did not buy into the fear. That was the main thing. Oz, yes, very good. Very good. Guest, I have a question. Oz, yes. Guest, I think most of us are aware that this COVID by Epen thing that happening is a 3D experience, and most of us are above the fear of this. However, when James and Joanna got sick, 
it really affected those of us in this group because we love them so deeply and they are so highly evolved and I was wondering if we should support our bodies not just with some of the nutraceuticals, but a lot of these frontline amazing awakened doctors are saying possibly it good to take maybe ivermectin once or twice a week just as a froth lactic. I don't go into the fear there, but I want to know if you feel that adding to, because we are still in 3D. Can we benefit our bodies because they are really bombarding us and getting us so deeply with this bioepin? Should we take ivermectin a couple times a week, or is it individual case? Always, we will tell you that whatever you can do to boost your immune system, that is what will fight all of this off. Your immune system and the higher vibrational frequencies. Those together will fight everything. As far as this particular drug that you are talking about, that is up to the individual and what that individual believes at the time. We would not say to continue to take it on a regular basis, but something that can assist the immune system a moment where it needs some assistance here. Okay. Shoshana, Shoshana, we will share on this. May we share, dear sister, guest, yes, dear sister, Shoshana, dear one, the battle that is raging here is not just a physical battle, it is a battle of the mind and of the heart, you see. The physical in this realm is the easiest to attack, you see, because the mind can become so programmed to believe in this attack that is raging, you see, and the fear that goes along with it. So you must listen to your higher guidance, and you must protect the physical, and meditate and pray to protect the emotional body, the mental body, and the spiritual body that you are encased in, you see. So we will say do all of it do all that you can to protect the physical, as this is the most vulnerable vehicle in this realm, you see does this make sense, dear sister, guest, yes it does, Shoshana, Namast, guest, Namast, always, very good. Are there other questions here? Anything further, guest, yes for a while now, almost every day I go out of my body. I don't go like I used to, I used to cavort around going into the inner earth and all different places in the galaxy and whatnot but now I go straight to this one place that at the far edge of the universe and I go into what might be considered a catatonic state where I just laying there it kind of a nice blissful state they're good feeling but I not doing anything except being there I got this information but I just wanted to verify it too is that because of the attacks that are happening on I guess it the etheric body or whatever during the day that this is a place of restoration where my body literally, etheric or spirit body, is being restored to keep it at a high vibration, and actually to have it keep progressing to a higher and higher vibration. And I almost feel like if I don't get to that place where I am in that catatonic state, I feeling exhausted. So can you say anything about that, if that is true and what it all about? Always, yes. We can tell you that you are entering in the void when you go into these experiences. You see, meditation does not need to necessarily be, such as the guided meditations that we do with you here on these Sundays. That is a form of meditation, yes, certainly. But it is not the form where you go completely within yourself and lose yourself within the higher self of your being and that is going into the void, as you are doing. Shoshana, Shoshana, we will share on this. May we share, dear sister, guest, yes, please, Shoshana. We will confirm for you that you are entering a place of restoration. And it is vital for you at this time in your life to maintain your vibration. You must continue this namast. Always, very good guest, thank you. I started to think like, wow, I'm not doing any work here, there must be something wrong. But I appreciate that. Lefts O's, yes, you are doing more than you think you are. Just know that, Shoshana, we wish to add here. Always. Yes, Shoshana, dear sister, may we add guest, yes, please, Shoshana, dear sister, when you raise your vibration, you raise the vibration of all. That is the work Namast, guest, thank you. Always, are there any further questions here? Very good, then we are ready to release channel Shoshana, do you have any parting message here? Shoshana, we wish to say that we are grateful to be back and to be allowed to express ourselves once again amongst these amazing beautiful light warriors and light workers. We appreciate you. Namast, always, very good and we just simply say hold on hold on to everything that you have been learning and coming to know as the truth, 
that it is all coming in one of these days, as the James is fond of saying, one of these days you will actually experience the truth that you have been expecting for quite some time. Shanti. Peace be with you be the one channeled by James McConnell.